On y'all, it's Cohen here from Scrubs for Hire, bringing y'all the deck profile of the deck that I topped with at the Shreveport Regional, ABC. Um, I got 13th place. I uh, went five and two, as I explained in my last video. So I was just gonna go over the deck and explain um, my choices and explain what I did in the end, show the final draft of the deck. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Obviously, you're going to get the things out the way, 3A, 3B, 3C. Um, now that you're into the Link era, C is actually a lot more important, seeing as it special summons a letter from your hand. So it plays a bigger part now in um, this deck rather than um, before when you just you needed it just for um, it being a letter. And also play the two gold, the two silver, perfect, I love the ratio. Um, you don't need any more, any less. Uh, two and two is just fine. Um, and that's all it for the machines. Um, on to the other cards. Uh, to Gofu. Really, really good. Um, I use this as bait plays sometimes. And my opponent just let it go through. So I was like, alright, well, it's Gofu. So instant deco talker. Well, not instant, but you know what I mean. Link Spider and the deco talker. And so um, very uh, degenerate, generic play. But it worked out all very, very nice. I always drew it when I needed it, so two is just fine. Um, Double Thrasher. I hate this card. I really do. I don't like it. I I drew it when I didn't need it, but now that uh, Proxy Dragon is going to be out um, today, so I will be probably bumping this up to three and taking out the Gofu because Gofu is uh, more or less dead, and um, Thrasher will be a lot better, seeing as we'll have. Uh, you know, proxy dragon now. Uh, onto the hand traps, last monsters, two ghost ogre, one maxi. Then I drew the maxi all the time I needed it. It was perfect. Uh, ghost ogre, I love this a lot. This helped me win my true Draco matches by popping um, heritage. I didn't set a whole lot of back row, so this is what helped me win the true Draco match was ghost ogre. So, and uh, yeah, it popped a lot of diagrams. It popped a lot of heritages. Um, it was really, really great. I wish I played three, but uh, I decided to go with two. I didn't want to like brick and draw too many of them. But I love this card. Uh, it's very much worth the value right now. That's it for the monsters. On to the spells. Uh, three hangers, obviously. ABC. Uh, three terraforming. You need this for the ABC the, to search the union hanger. Um, double twin twister. Um, I didn't side cyclones. That didn't happen at the moment. But I would probably side Cyclones as well. I wouldn't main them. Just this wasn't good enough. Um, double Desires. I hate this card. I really do. I hate this card. But sometimes when I used it, it gave me decent cards. Um, other times it just gave me extra cards that I didn't really need, but it was extra cards. So that's fine. It was it was all right. Um, I'm still going to keep playing it, I'm going to get the reprints, I'm going to keep playing it for now, but I don't like this card except in this deck because you run multiples of everything. Um, the one Gek in Dark Hole, because I believe that in Link Era you need more board wipes. You need a lot more now, seeing as their you know, opponent can build a huge board really quick. I mean, you could, it could before, but now it's just insane with Link Monsters, so I decided to main deck uh, two board wipes instead of three because um or instead of uh, just one because you just need to be able to have the out to your opponent so yeah dark hole and geki i may i would play two dark hole one regeki but uh maybe later on on to the trap cards um the old man brigade two strikes and a warning the new old man brigade i should say um three strikes is a bit unnecessary um you don't really need three strikes um you can if you want to but i don't want to pay that many life points Besides, I had another card in here that worked out better than this anyway. And warning is just an obvious necessity. I played the one storming. I would probably play two of this because uh, I played a lot of light sworn. So they would try to crash Minerva into me and I just, you know, storming, get that out of here. Um, I played bump this up to two. I was going to play quaking, but I decided not to because it's really bad against Link monsters. So storming was a lot better in the regional. It helped me win a couple games actually, so... Um, Union Scramble just won, and I never drew it. I never drew it, and I really never needed it either. 
but you I just, you have to have it just for that, for that just in case shit happens moment. So I'm going to keep this at one. Um, one skill drain and one imperial order. These were MVPs, uh, well the second MVP of the day. Um, imperial order, I drew it a couple times and when I drew it, it was pretty much sack, you're done. Skill drain when I drew it, the same thing. It was sack, you're done. Opponent didn't have an out to the skill drain and th he was playing um, Twilight Sworn I believe. Twilight Sworn and Donos, so they didn't have any outs to this card, or these cards, so it was really great. And the last two cards I played, Double Black Horn of Heaven. These were amazing. Stopped King Calamities, it stopped Lagias, it stopped Judgment Dragons, it stopped just so many Exceed plays. It was ridiculous. I love this card. I'm going to keep it at two, because, um... I wouldn't play more than two uh, because you know True Draco was out there. I didn't want to like break against True Draco and, not, and draw this and not need it, which I actually never drew it against True Draco, which is great. <laughs> but other than that, this card is really, really great right now. It's top deco talkers too, so this was like this was a real MVP of the regional. And on to the extra deck, obvious three Buster Dragon, three KB State, banish your cards, tribute, get my stuff back. He was great, always great. Two Deco Talker, obvious Link plays, uh, double Link Spider because Gofu, and this is Radiant because these are Earth Monsters. Um, I actually had a guy cherries me, and he called my Deco Talker, so I had these out. I was like, well, this is Radiant. And he just looked at me. And I was like, well, they're Earth. So, really good choice. I'm glad I did it. Otherwise, I would have lost that game. Um, Sukiyomi because you know making your hand better. Rebellion Dragon because it's big. Obvious Tornado Dragon. I still play Castell and everything because of problem cards, and I actually did make this once as a bait play, and it worked, and he striked it, so it was great. Uh, Emerald for recursion, and a lightning package because Chaos Max is a threat. If it ever gets on the board, you need a way out that card, so yeah. And I'm not playing Zoo, so I can't just whip tail. Uh, Goku Tokens, Machine King, me, aka Corn. Um, side deck, two floodgate. This was really good. I had a friend, um, shout out to Mason. He um, was telling me about this card, about floodgate trap hole, and to play it now, um, or side it, because um, you can floodgate their extra monster zone if it's not a link monster, and just close off that zone so they can't do anything else with it, and then build your resources while that monster stays down. This worked out really, really good. I love this card. I've always liked this card, but now it's even better. Decided to play three Lancias in case anyone wanted to play System Down, which this actually helped me a lot in the Light Swarm match because I already had my um, my board established and he I, I just drew for turn and he had a couple of snows and grave so I just activated Lancia and just looked at him like are you gonna do anything about it and he had the chain of snows right then. And then I just ran right through him. So this was this was a great card. I loved it. And it helped a lot in the true uh, Draco match. It, it helped a lot in the Dino match as well. This was really good against Dinos. I like this card a lot. One Typhoon. This actually came up against true Draco. I love this card. It's uh, a hand trap essentially. It's pretty much an MST in trap form. Except if your opponent controls two or more spell trap cards. And you control none. You can activate it from your hand. So it's essentially a hand trap. So you can hit diagrams with it, hit heritage without having to feel any kind of um, repercussion. You can hit their heritage, hit their true king return, or hit their diagram, or uh, something like that, or hit barrage, and they they can't you know hit anything back because it's the only card on the field. I played one cherry, so I only had one at the moment. I never even used this card, um, but I guess it'd be really good if I had um, you know firewall on my extra deck, but I ain't got room for that to play with cherry, so. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to take it out. I played Double Hain Water. I was going to play three of this, but I was like, you know what? My deck is already good enough against Trickstar, and they brick. So, a few of my friends played against Trickstar and, um, beat it, and they got beat by it. So, but I never played any, thankfully. But I had it just in case. And I also had Double Troll and Lockbird for that, too, just in case. And this card was really great. I only drew it once, um, but when I drew it and I activated it, I won the game. It was... A pretty much a blowout. He couldn't add anything else, and he was pretty much done. Um, two kaiju's. 
I didn't run the Kaiju engine because my side deck was already big enough as it is. So I decided to go with just Gamma Steel. And the Cucamongus, easier to get over 20 point 22 in case I had to summon my own if I drew it. But um, yeah, this actually helped out against True Draco too. I was playing um, True Draco Demise and he had a masterpiece and I was it on board. That was it. And I just drew a Gamma Seal and I was like, well, <laughs> slap. There it is. <laughs> so, and, and that pretty much won the game from there. And the last two cards I ran side deck were uh, two for Ben Chalice. For, you know, it was obvious. Uh, King Calamity. Um, What's that thing called? Ultimate Conductor, Tyranno, Dryden, Masterpiece, if I was able to out it, Dynamite Knight, um, this hit so many cards during the regional, it was ridiculous, I love this card in the side deck, it helped me out a lot. So overall, um, the main thing I saw there was a lot of zoo, um, the regional was a great event, saw a lot of, like I said, a lot of zoo, um, a lot of true Draco, um, Saw a few World Chalice. That was good. Um, I never faced any, but I mainly faced uh, Twilight Sworn, True Draco, and uh, Zoo, and Dino. That's really about it. But uh, yeah, I went 5 2 and got 13th place. But that's the deck profile. Um, I'm probably going to end up changing a few things about it, like adding the proxy dragons and whatnot. Um, and pretty much um, keeping it pretty much the same. Um, I like it the way it is. I'm going to add another Stormy Mirror Force into it. But other than that, the deck is really solid going into Link. It's a great deck. And I plan to take it to the next event. If I play, I've already got my top, so I might not. But uh, but thanks so much for watching. And I just wanted to go over the deck profile and just, you know, let you know my choice of the deck. And see the final draft of it. And, you know, I got 13th place, so that was really good. But thanks so much for watching. And um, if you like this video, hit the like button, please. It's greatly appreciated. You have no idea. And thank everyone who has subscribed and who has viewed the video so far y'all don't know how much it means it's um... I do this just for fun I don't do it for fame or money or nothing like that I do the channel because it's you know it's fun and I like to you know inform people of you know the decks that are doing good and uh... pretty much just uh... get the name out there so thanks so much for watching like this video and subscribe for more scrub content and we'll see y'all in the next video deuces